It was a clear, crisp, and trouble-free start to the morning at Sandy Hook Elementary School. Kids like Ella Seavers and her mother Amy, Just do the elf dance, but you don't eager for the weekend and the holidays to arrive. Um, when I first got there, it was like a regular day. But at 9.41 a.m., the children's day and their innocence is shattered. 6-7, Sandy Hook School. Callers indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. We heard a loud bang. We thought that something fell. Then we heard another. And then we thought that that was a gunshot. Uh, she spoke about him in glowing, glowing terms. And the main thing that she left was one point that she said, whenever, he, whenever she told him I love you, his answer to her was, not as much as I love you. The man responsible for taking these lives, 20-year-old Adam Lanza. Our hearts are broken today. For the parents and grandparents, sisters and brothers of these little children, and for the families of the adults who were lost. New York police increased security at synagogues and other Jewish sites today. It's part of a worldwide alert following a shooting at a Jewish school in Toulouse, France. Que les services de renseignement français ne savaient pas. J'ai été envoyé par les euh, par Al Qaeda. J'ai été entraîné par les talibans pakistanais. Euh, voilà, il y a toute une organisation derrière tout ça, t'as vu? Today we had a savage crime in France that gunned down French Jews. C'est une tragédie. Je n'ai pas d'éléments qui me permettent de savoir pourquoi on fait ça. Mais je, je ne peux pas accepter cela. C'est cette idée qu'on puisse euh, euh, massacrer devant une école, devant une école d'enfants juifs. Mera took the lives of three French soldiers, three Jewish children and a rabbi before himself dying in a shootout with police. The 1,500 people attending the memorial were joined by French President Francois Hollande, who condemned anti-Semitism in his speech and promised that investigators would continue to work to establish if Mera acted alone or with accomplices. Israel's President Shimon Peres stated that there is no greater sin than that of a murder of a boy or a girl. This is the most heinous crime, he said, and a proof of the killer's inhumanity. Quand on fait trois ans, six ans, huit ans, et l'assassin s'est acharné sur une petite fille, faut réfléchir à ça. And we're going to have to come together and take meaningful action to prevent more tragedies like this, regardless of the politics. You have to make your decisions, and your decisions are going to be made in a fraction of a second. This type of training, all it does is it just gives you a little bit of a guide as to how you should be thinking. It doesn't give you the answers, I'm afraid. Because every situation is different. How the guards work as a team. How do they communicate with each other and the police? Okay? How do they protect the school and students? And how do they control the situation without letting it get out of hand? They lock down the school. Which means, as you described, or what you described properly, you take the kids, you shove them in, or you disperse them. Whatever you think is necessary at the time. Yeah? You shut the doors, you call the police, you basically lock down the school so no one can get in or out. Or you go to the champion, come in here, or 